Hi everyone, I just want to make a video on how to upgrade your TrueNAS server's hard drives. Uh, and it could be for any situation, for example, your drives are failing and you just need to upgrade your drives so you don't lose data. Or it could be you just want to upgrade your storage space because you're just running out of space. For example, like me, I am 78% used, which is uh, okay, but... I have 389 gigabytes left, which is not enough for me as I do plan on using this uh, NAS server for my virtual machines too, right? I, I currently use it for backups and uh, everything else, but I would also like to have some sort of like accessibility to my virtual machines. So I'm just upgrading my drives from the two terabyte to uh, the 12 terabytes. Well, it is 12 terabytes. It's just uh, 10.91 because you know how hard, hard drives are when you format them. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your hard drives. So your first step is to go onto your left panel tabs and you click on your storage and you go onto disks. So this is important because you will be, uh, need, you'll need to copy the serial number uh, in, or in order to identify the disk in your NAS right in the physical NAS you'll need to you'll need to distinguish which one is the the one you want to upgrade and replace so in a real life environment they're going to be the same uh similar like very similar uh serial numbers but in this situation it is different because as we speak right now I am in the process of upgrading uh the drives to 12 terabytes and when I was doing it I was like yeah you know what let me just make a video on it so now I'm doing a second drive to replace. So yeah, so what you need to do is just copy the serial number and then paste it in your notepad or whatever thing you could just access it without going on the server because you will be turning off the server when you are taking it apart. But before you take off, uh, well, turn off the server and take it apart, you will need to go onto the disk you want to upgrade. For example, this disk because it's two terabytes and it's going to upgrade it. So you click on, uh, you go onto your pools and then you go onto your pool status. So you click on the gear icon on your right. You'll see underneath the add button, you'll see like a gear icon to configure the pool. Pool operations, that's how you call it, yeah. And then you go onto status. And in the status, you'll see uh, these, uh, your, your drives here. So, oh, I already forgot. So I already forgot what uh what these are um let me just go back to the disk tab to see uh what drives i want to replace so ada1 is the first device and ada2 is the second one aka the one i want to replace so i'm going to go back to the pool status again i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to go into pool status uh so click on pools click on the gear icon and then click on status and then there you have it you're you're in the pool status and then AD2, that's the one I want to replace. So what I'll do is I'll click here and I'm going to make this drive offline. And I'm going to confirm. All right. And now this is the important part. So the reason why I put this offline is just the procedure I do. Uh, because what I could do is some cases uh, are like hot swappable, right? Uh, my case is like an actual computer case. It is not hot swappable. Uh, maybe in the future I will make it hot swappable. Like hot swappable basically is like you could easily just remove the drive without uh, damaging anything. Uh, that's why I just make it offline. But really what you could do is you could just shut it down and do it. You could just, yeah, shut down and it'll do the same thing. But I recommend this. Uh, I recommend just making it offline before you shut it down. I, I don't know. It's just. It's just a safety thing. Better to be safe uh, than lose everything because this is data you're handling with, right? So yeah, just play it safe here. So yeah, you're just going to turn off your server, confirm, and now we're going to go onto my actual server. All right, um, don't judge me, please. All right, so this is what my NAS server is. Okay, it's just basically a really, um, really interesting looking computer case. It's okay. I got this for 18 bucks. Okay. I didn't care. Um, and the two hard drives I have, I might want to get a new case, maybe like a case with a six bay hard drive. I don't know. You know what? I'll, 
I'll figure it out in the next couple of years. But so far, it's been serving me well. Um, and these are the drives I have. Right, so this is my old 2 terabyte drive. And this is a new drive I want to put in. And what I noticed, actually, is this was so light. And this is, like, freaking heavy. Holy moly. But, yeah. So, as you see, this is a new drive. And this is an old drive. I want to take this drive out. So yeah um obviously in this situation i know which drive to replace because i already replaced this drive but if you want to know what drive you are um if what drive you are uh replacing you could look at the serial number so serial number and you can see uh you can just compare it with the one you copied in your notepad um after you know putting the new drive in here i did notice how terrible my cable management it is so bad i am glad that this case has like a like a like a solid opaque cover so like i don't see it because holy crap this is so bad oh my gosh I, I, yeah anyways don't judge me this is this is my project i did when i was like 18 years old right i'm 21 now and now when i'm looking back at it i'm like holy shit this is so bad but yeah um what we'll have to do is just uh plug in everything here i hope i don't break anything all right, here is the moment of truth. So the computer's on and running. It's in one piece. And yeah, uh, now I have to go back to my computer and, well, um, program, well, re-enable the hard drives. All right, we're back in my computer. And the first thing I see when I do replace the drives is the pool status, which is degraded. So that's normal, don't freak out. That's a normal thing to do, a normal thing to have when your drive is just one of them is offline. So uh, in order to, well, not make that degraded anymore, you just click on your storage and you'll click on your pools and then click on the gear icon here and go click on status. So this is gonna be your location, storage pools and pool status. That's your location right there. And this is your new drive, the one in the slash dev GP, GPTID, whatever. This is the location it's in. And in order to enable it, you click on replace. Do not click on online, uh, just click on replace. And when you click on replace, you'll ask you for your member disk. You just click it on whatever dropdown you see, which is 882. That's for me at least. And I click on that, and then I click on replace disk. You don't need to worry about the force because it's it's not that bad. I, I did it without the force for my first disc and it's fine. So when I click on replace disc, right, it's going to, well, replace the disc and then it will start popping up like a, a status on what's going on. All right, so this is what uh, the after your pop up will look like and it shows, it shows a successfully replaced disc notification here and You'll see it's going to be resilvering the 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 disk now, and right now it's scanning. And the time don't be too uh, deterred by this time. It's not going to take that long, trust me. Um, but it will take long depending on how much data you have, right? For example, I have two terabytes of data, and well, actually 1.35, but that's technically yes, but. With all that data I had, it took me like four hours to transfer or, or to resilver the process. So, yeah, it will. It's just four hour job basically, and that's fine. This computer is uh, this server's on all the time. I don't need to worry. But yeah, this is what you have to do to replace your drives and to make sure you do have the right drives. These are you could click on disk and it could show you whatever uh, drives you have. And again, like what I said before, this is why it's important to look at your serial numbers uh, because in like real environments, you will be using like the same drives for your your uh, NAS server, right? And, you know, having these two same serial numbers, is going to be really hard to remember. So that's why it's important to write it down uh, when you are going to be physically replacing them or doing something with them. So thank you for watching and this is how to replace your hard drives on a TrueNAS server. I hope after watching this video you are now able to replace a hard drive on your server safely without losing any data.